So Elon Musk and X responded to what just happened with the SEC and their account being compromised. And we're going to go through exactly that. And this is absolutely ridiculous, guys. So you watching this channel right now are more intelligent than the SEC, it turns out, unless X and Elon Musk are in on the whole conspiracy. But hey, that's up to interpretation. Now, if we jump over to this tweet here from Watchaguru, we can see X confirms the SEC account was hacked and did not have two-factor authentication enabled. Are you kidding me? They didn't have two-factor authentication enabled on the account that controls what the SEC has to say. Like, like think about how absolutely ridiculous that is. We can even see here, this is what Gary Gensler said before. He said, this is a reminder to secure your financial accounts as well as protect against identity theft and fraud. Remember, use strong passphrases or passwords. Set up a multi-factor authentication. Keep account alerts turned on. Set up multi-factor authentication. The SEC just proved that they do not listen to their own advice that they give people. Just take that in for a second. They are here to protect consumers against whatever, right? They don't even take the own advice when it comes to something as basic as two-factor authentication. They're just out here doing whatever they want, which goes hand in hand with what we're pretty sure is going on with the whole ETF kicking the can down the road, doing the thing that's not beneficial for us or consumers, but actually beneficial for all of the other people involved who have, you know, the moolahs behind the scenes. With that said, let's break this down a little bit more here. X confirmed that the account the SEC government was compromised and we have completed their preliminary... Preliminary preliminary investigation. Based on their investigation, the compromise was not due to any breach of the X systems, but rather due to an unidentified individual obtaining control over the phone number associated with the SEC. <laughs> We also confirmed that the account did not have the two-factor authentication. We encourage all users to enable this extra layer of security. How absolutely ridiculous is that? It's so ridiculous. I can't even begin to imagine. With that said, we can still profit from this market two ways. Trading, of course, buying spot, hoping that the ETF is approved and that mark, that the price goes up and we can take profits whenever you feel like. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing spot. I'm also doing leverage where I can leverage my uh, account and I can make more money if the price goes up, but I can also put in stop losses and risk management in place in case it doesn't get approved. And that way we make profit, right? And we don't have to lose any money. It's Pretty uh, uh, straightforward what to do. Do not become a market statistic that gets liquidated, okay? Don't do it, there's no need at all. With that said, the links to the exchanges that I personally use are down there in the description. Plus, if you want access to any of my private communities where I give you my trades, my portfolios, all of that, the links are down there in the description. Hopefully I updated you. Do me a favor, smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.